Silver Team, on me. Just got done watching episode one of the Halo series on Paramount Plus. And first off, my first impressions, great show. Like, great job. I mean, the effects are great. The action is actually surprisingly brutal. I was kind of shocked at how that all began, but it, it's very well done. Um, feels very Halo in the execution of the action and the way the cinematography you know this the, the the way it's shot the um characters are acted very well the storyline some interesting things are going on and it could be progressing in some really cool things but when i reviewed the trailer for halo i had an issue that i i said okay i kind of understand where they're coming from and why they're doing this i thought but the voice the voice of the master chief i was asking you know, why wouldn't you just have a stunt actor, you know, wear the suit and play the physical part of the character and have the actual uh, voiceover of Master Chief from the video games? It would make sense. You'd have it would be perfect. It would be the best representation in a live action form that you could have of Master Chief. And so I, I was like, OK, I'm not quite sure why they're doing this, but I think it's because, you know, you've got a show you want to have a, an actor, you know, a name attached to it etc well i was wrong um like i said i really like the show really well done i'm actually quite excited to see more of it however the reason they chose an actual actor is so that they could show chief's face and maybe that's not a big deal to some but i i'm sorry like everything was fantastic to that point and I literally, as he was taking his helmet off or, or uh, you know, unlocked the helmet from that point forward, I was like, do not show his face. What are you doing? What are you doing? Please don't do it. And I was really hoping they were just going to show him, pull it off. You see the back of his head and her reaction and that would be it. Nope. They showed his face. And I'm sorry. I, I don't care. That's a, that's a big no when it comes to Halo and the Master Chief, you know, like one of the greatest strengths of his character is he has no face that he's anybody anybody can be the chief and you project yourself to his character and that should have been something they did with the show i don't care what kiki wolfkill says oh it's not like a game you're not playing it doesn't matter it's the same character it needs to be presented the same way and executed the same way you would think of all people with her long time involvement with halo that she would understand the fans of this because that's who's going to be watching this there's going to be a mainstream audience to some extent but primarily who's going to be watching this show is going to be fans of halo and i think it's quite disappointing that they, they made this move i know that they're going to explain it away i don't think they have bad intentions but i just think it was it was just a bad creative choice and that's my opinion i think a lot of halo fans will have the same opinion but um anyways just my brief review Episode one was really good. Um, I like the characters they introduced, the, the kind of uh, pre, pre video game, you know, first, first Halo um, storyline that they introduced with Master Chief, kind of showing where he came from before all that. And before Cortana, I like what they're doing with Halsey, showing the conflict between her and the UNSC, like what are, what is her motivations? When it comes to the Covenant technology and John, and then of course the UNSC is out there fighting a war against these rebels and the Covenant, you know, trying to find a way to to bring the rest of humanity into their control, you know, because they're kind of like the good bad guys, the UNSC, and uh, and of course fight the Covenant, which they presented the Covenant in a fantastic fashion, like they, they the way that they were introduced, they were terrifying, but then they introduced the Spartans. And the Spartans are even more terrifying. So that's that's really well done. Like I said, great show. Like at least this first episode, very well done. However, I'm just extremely disappointed in the creative decision to show the Master Chief's face. I just feel like that was a big no-no. And the problem is, is it will carry over to like the game experience as well. But anyways, I'm looking forward to giving episode two a shot next week. And uh, hopefully you'll do the same.